Hi everyone. Welcome to the ever standing movement of students' educational advancement, MSF. We extend a warm invitation to the CUT orientation program organized by the MSF IFLU committee. A group of ambitious students is ready to embark on a journey of academic excellence. It's the time to apply for CUT, the entrance exam for Central University PG courses across the country. You'll have many doubts and worries. Our program consists of two sessions to validate this and learn about the importance and opportunities of language education in higher studies. The inauguration of our program will be conducted by the Honorable MSF National President, Mr. Ahmed Saju, whose dedication and sincere efforts have played a pivotal role and sincere effort in MSF growth in Central Universities. A special acknowledgement to our president for providing unwavering support and assistance to MSF IFLU students during challenging times. Our informative sessions unlocking CUT, everything to you need to know, and higher studies in languages, scopes, and opportunities will be led by EFL Hyderabad PG student. Hiba and research scholar Muslim Miral Pala. We extend a warm welcome to the all students from across the national who have joined to this. I take great pleasure in welcoming our respected MSF national president to inaugurate our program. Please, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So we are going to start the function. I think everyone joined. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, we can yes, start sir. Now, I think. Okay, okay. Uh, respected uh, uh, students of these, uh, okay, the students and the leaders of Foreign Language University Hyderabad. Uh, first of all, I'd like to take the opportunity to congratulate uh, the MS of IFLU for organizing such a very informative session for the students who are applying for the CUT examination, especially for focusing on uh, the English and foreign language. As you all know, that uh, uh, MS of is doing this type of activities in all, all central universities. Uh, both, uh, both uh, virtual and uh, physical. Uh, last day we have a very good interactive session happened in Catechet. Out of those, uh, so many students have participated in that meeting also. And uh, moreover, that we are also conducting different university units also conducting this type of awareness program and uh, giving training for uh, both the university and the examination. As you all know that uh, at this time the government has introduced the entrance examination to a common entrance and uh, especially focusing this English and foreign language university, as you all know that there are a lot of opportunities in this uh, university because very uh, specifically they are focusing on uh, different languages. As you all know that this time there are a lot of opportunities uh, there are for the language section. Especially for not only for the English, for almost all languages. Uh, I found that a lot of students who have been studying uh, have been posted and have been uh, placed in different uh, embassies, different uh, MNCs, and different uh, areas of their work. So uh, I request you all who have been joined here kindly take this session as a very serious thing. Uh, please go through the session, please go through these uh, workshops and uh, you can ask your questions, you can, uh, you can uh, what, uh, uh, ask questions and you can clear your doubts and I hope that you will get a proper guidance uh, about these examinations and uh, it's easily track and I hope that this will be a better opportunity for the students to know more about uh, university and the opportunities they have provided. So I'm not taking much time. Uh, it was very useful. 
for session for you all. So formally, I take this opportunity in our great discussion. Okay, thank you very much. And I request you all to kindly uh, go through the session. Thank you, Mr. Amal. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Let's move on the first session. You all have been waiting for the CUT injection talk. For this, I invite Hiba, a PG student of AFL University. Hello, I hope I'm audible. Yeah, you are audible. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Hiba Fatima Bashir, a student at EFL University, Hyderabad. I would like to give an insight to all that you need to know about CUET PG 2024. As you all know, CUET PG is a computer based test that allows its candidates to be eligible to enroll themselves into India's top central universities. The examination is conducted by the National Test Agency or the NTA, as we all know. It is a single window opportunity given to students seeking admissions in the central universities or other participating organizations, such as state universities, deemed to be universities, and many more. The exam is con uh, conducted on your annual basis. The portal for submitting the online application form through the website had been opened from 26th of December 2023 and will be open till 11.50 p.m. on the 24th of January 2024. The notification states that the correction window will be open for three days after application process is closed, that is from 27th of January to 29th of January. As of now, there have been no updates about the extension period of uh, applying online. The CUET PG exams will be held tentatively from 11th of March to 28th of March. The exam allows students from different domains like arts, science, law, technology, medicine, and many more to attain admissions in their desired field. As per the guidelines provided by the NTA, in order for a candidate to appear for the CUET PG 2024 examination, there is no age limit. Anyone who has completed their grad undergraduation or equivalent examinations, those who are even appearing for their final semester examination, can also be eligible for the test. However, the candidates must ensure that while applying for their desired universities, they fulfill the required age criteria set by the said university. This year, there have been many significant changes brought to the test. The NTA had decided to add on two more cities as their examination center for the CUET PG 2024, one of them being Gurugram, Haryana, and the other in Srinagar, Uttarakhand. The duration of the examination in previous years have been for two hours or 120 minutes, which has changed into one hour and 45 minutes or 105 minutes. This year, the examinations will be held in three sessions or shifts. The first shift will be held from 9 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. The second one begins at 12.45 p.m. And, and ends at 2.30 p.m. And the final shift is scheduled to be from 4.30 p.m. to 6.15 p.m. One of the most often talked changes found in this year is definitely the change change in examination pattern. As per the information brochure, the CUET PG exam will comprise of only respective domain questions. In the previous years, the test had been divided into two parts. Part A containing 25 questions based on general knowledge and arithmetic skills, and Part B containing 75 questions regarding subjects spe specifically chosen by candidates, all together constituting a set of 100 questions which has been reduced to 75 questions this year. The test also observes negative marking scheme, where for every correct answer, four marks are awarded, and for each wrong answer, one negative mark is deducted from the total value. If more than one of the options of any of question is proven to be correct, those who attempt those questions will be awarded. No mark shall be deducted if any question is left unanswered or has been marked for review. And if all of the options are proven to be wrong for a question, then four marks shall be awarded to those who have attempted that question. 
all of the questions in the CVT exam are in multiple choice mode. Another recent change occurred in the sudden hike uh, is the sudden hike for the fees of CVT PD application forms by 200 rupees for all categories. The current fee for the two test papers for general category is 1200 rupees and for OBC non creamy layer and general category EWS is 1000 rupees. The fees for SCST category is 900 rupees and for persons with benchmark disabilities is 800 rupees. We need to be careful about certain factors while applying for CUET PG 2024. Until last year, candidates can choose three test papers by paying the normal fees. One can, pay, one can apply further up to seven test papers by paying additional application fees of rupees 500 for general category and for OVC categories, a fees of rupees 400 is to be paid. Yeah, candidates can choose up to four subjects by paying additional charges. The candidate must also be careful while choosing their subject code. Every university provides a handbook or a prospect which has all the courses offered by them and course codes required for each master's program. This also is a significant matter as the master's degree is a determining factor for subjects that one can appear under UGC net examination. The medium of question papers for the exam will be in English and Hindi, except for language papers, MTech higher sciences and Acharya papers. Since many universities only consider domain paper for their uh, admission process, this initiation by NTA is quite helpful. But if a certain candidate wishes to appear for general paper, they can opt for it separately. The cities where CUT PG 2024 will be conducted are given in the appendix one. While applying, candidates have to choose two cities based on their permanent or present address. A different city can be allotted uh, depending on the availability of examination centers. I would suggest that everyone here who are trying to apply for CG, uh, CUET to apply as soon as you can. As delay in applying for courses, uh, may not, uh, you might not get a desired examination center. The admit card is required for candidates to appear for the exam. One can download the admit card from the NTA site. No admit card is sent through email, so you should definitely be updated about the site and re visit the site as much as you can regarding their, uh, you know, uh, application process, admit card release, uh, city initi uh, initiation card releases. Everything will be through their site, and you will not receive any notification through your mail. The NTA allows students to challenge provisional uh, answer keys with a non-refundable online payment of rupees 200 per question. Uh, the rupees 200 is for uh, processing charges. Provisional answer, uh, provincial answer key are likely to be displayed for two or three days. 